Just the way we prepare, just the way we prepare doing camp, we prepare for games like that. See, we kind of figured out. See, uh, we, we know we got talent, but it's just going to be those games that we got to, you know, dig deep. We, that's definitely not a position that we want to be in, but we put ourselves in that position. Like, like, bust the cover, it's not playing up our standards, so we have to fight back. What, what in camp specifically said, you know, that's something that developed in camp? What do you guys do there? I think the, the days, the 12, 13 days straight in the past, the, that's, that was one of the things. Just two a days, and then just put uh, the people, the guys that push themselves, like me, when I push myself, when I know I was like, tired and hurt, and going, uh, dealing with a little bit of pain. I'm just pushing myself through it. Jimbo, uh, the, especially the, the beginning of the part of camp, I wouldn't even say questioning the team's mental toughness, but wanted to see it to be a little bit stronger. As a team, did you guys feel like you needed to be a little bit mentally tougher too? As far as in the game or in camp? In camp. Yeah, no, we definitely did. I mean, some, at one point, we let the heat get to us, the, the back to bad days get to us. But, uh, Marcus did a great job, you know, leading the team and just pushing us when he was tired, when he was tired, and it kind of trickled down. And then in the game, just to what you feel like, no, you got to relax, that type of time. Didn't flinch, didn't flinch, man. That's, uh, game at halftime, that was Fisher, uh, jumping on the people needed to jump on. I was one of the ones he jumped on, and I picked my game up. Uh, and it went from there, we never, we never felt, I know I never felt like we were mm -hmm. I just knew that we just had to come out and just get the momentum back. They had, a good, they had momentum in the beginning, and they came out and executed their game plan as far as the tempo going really fast. And we got, came out and got that first stop, and Marcus got the pick. And that's when uh, everything flipped. There's something to be said, you know, a lot of teams, every, every team will say, you know, they never feel like they're out of a game, they can always come back, but I mean, you guys, you know it. You can look back at, at that example or other examples. Say we came back from three touchdowns down. Is there something about, good about having that in the back of your mind? Uh, I think it's a bad thing. <laughs> uh, it's, it today. it's a curse. We're talented, and we know that we go fight to the end. Uh, we just gotta not put ourselves in those positions. We made it a lot harder than the game was supposed to be. Hats off the old Miss. It was good. They had great receivers. I had a great time battling with those guys. But uh, I definitely feel like we were a better team, and we just didn't show it in the first half. In 2014, when we would ask, nobody really had a good answer as to why you guys would struggle so early in the beginning of games. Is there anything that you guys have talked about or things you guys feel like you can do to prevent that in I think it was just the first game, too. That's really what I think it was. I doubt, like, I, don't, I don't see us having that performance anymore for the rest of the season. <coughs> Whether it's Travis Southern, uh, Louisville, whoever we play, we just gotta come out and just jump. On. That's what we like. I, I won't even say we came out flat. I feel like everybody came out ready to play. It's <laughs> Ole Miss on offense. They came out and executed a game plan. So they wanted, uh, I don't feel like teams can beat us unless they go tempo and they attack that. Did you feel like you guys ever did find a good answer as to why you had to have somebody come back in 2014, or that was still like an unsolved? It's just uh, being assuming the old man unconquered. I mean, you just don't want to lose. Not to fear of losing, but you just know hey, once you get to it's ball like, ball I guess a light just clicked. Yeah, it was a couple times. Old Miss, it was uh, going for one and a half times. The last time they scored, it was like, it's over. One of the line was like, uh, it's over for y'all or something like that. I was like, I don't know what I'm saying. All I said was like, okay, that's what I said. He came back the second half, ready to play. I meant more about the line than after the game. No. He got quiet. He went up. He went up. He wasn't really saying too much. So. I meant more like in 2014. Did you ever find out as to why you guys can keep falling behind and struggling in the games? Or? Oh, just the way, yeah, the way we start our practice. We start our practice slow. I mean, it's just like, again, those friends say it all the time. We just really got to take heed to what he say and just really take it serious. Uh, when we start practice off slow and then pick it up after the break, I mean, that's how that, that's kind of how the game goes. That's how you start off the first half slow and then after halftime, we pick it up.